Hi everyone. We're going to find the domain of a composite function. I'm going to go over the procedural part first. Then I'm going to go ahead and compose this first one so you can see why the procedure I used works. And then the other three problems that we're going to do, I'm just going to do the procedure because they're all very similar. So the first thing you do on the procedure, step one, is state the domain of G. So that's your inner function. So basically we're doing f of g of x, and you state the domain of the inner function. So the domain of g is all real numbers, but x cannot be 0. Then we're going to state the domain of f, and the domain of f is all real numbers, but x cannot be 1. Is that that means you can't you can't divide by zero, so that's why that's true. So what you do is you set your inner function to equal one. So basically we're gonna set g of x to equal one, which is what the domain of f can't be. So g of x is two over x, and that is one, and you cross multiply and you get x equals 2. So that means, um, well, sorry, x equals 2 here. That means the domain of the comp uh, compos uh, composite function is x such that x cannot be 0 and x cannot be 2. So we're pulling this one and this one. From the inner function. So let me show you why it works. First of all, when you compose these, we're going to put the inner function inside the outer function. So you have 3 over x minus, well, x over, this would, x would be 2 over x. So this would be 2 over x minus 1. And if you do um, simplify the denominator, you get 3 over 2 minus x over x. So in both cases, what you have here is this can't be 2 because you'll have 0 over 2 if we're looking at the denominator here. You would have, if this was 2, you'd have uh, 2 minus 2 is 0 over 2, which equals 0. And 3 divided by 0 is undefined. Or if you had 0 here that for this x, that would be 0. So you can't have um, 3 divided by something over 0 because then the denominator would be undefined. So that's basically the way we do it. So if you don't want to always have to compose the function, you go through the procedures, and we're going to do three more going through the procedures. If you want to write it out here to see why, you can. So the next one, all of these are very similar. We have f of x equals 1 over x plus 3, and g of x equals negative 2 over x. So the first thing you do is find the domain of g, because that's the one we want, the inner function. So that's going to be x, but x cannot be 0, because you can't divide by 0. All right, and the domain of f, the only reason we're doing that one is so we can set our g to that. So x is all real numbers, but x cannot be negative 3. So you set g... So there's your first step, and your second step is you set your domain here to your g, and cross multiply and you get x equals 2 thirds. That means for your domain in, of the composite function f of g, you're going to get x. You always use your inner function. x cannot be 0. 
and you're also going to use um, the info from step two. X cannot be two thirds. Again, you can uh, compose this and do what I did on the previous slide. Okay, let's do two more. I'm going to go a little faster because they're all the same. We have um, f of x equals um, x over x minus 1 and g of x equals um, negative 4 over x. Okay, step 1 is do the domain of g to the x. So that's going to be x, but x cannot be 0. And then we're only doing the domain of f, and that's just so we can set g of x to that. So for the domain of f, x, it can't be 1. So you set g of x to 1. You get negative 4x equals 1. So x equals negative 4. Therefore, our domain of f of g is x such that x cannot be 0 and x cannot be negative 4. And the last one, we have um, f of x equals x over x plus 3 g of x equals 2 over x. So do the procedure, and we're going to first find the domain of g of x, which is x such that x cannot be 0. So this is g. And f, the domain is x such that x cannot be negative 3 your f function and now we set the this negative 3 to 2x so we get x cannot be uh, negative 2 thirds or x is 2 thirds negative 2 thirds so our domain of f of g is x all real numbers but x cannot be 0 and x cannot be negative two-thirds. Now I'm going to do this again. I'm going to compose these two. So you have x over 2 over x plus 3. If I simplify this, I get x over 2 plus 3x over x. So clearly here, x cannot be 0. But it also can't be 0 here because you'd have 0 over some numbers. So 0 over some number is still 0, and you would have x over 0. So if you set this to 0, you get 2 equals negative 3x. So x equals negative 2 thirds. So there it is. All right. So thank you. We're going to do very similar ones, but we're going to compose G with F, G with G, and F with F as well. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.